Hi, it's probably easier if you ask questions because I always get really worried. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we've got a doctor's appointment uh, next week. Yeah, we're no, living in, week after next. Uh, week, week after next, we're living in the new age. It's going to be. I'm, I, I'm, I'm going to become very affair with um, video conference calls to soon, uh, to doctors soon enough. I reckon. Mm -hmm. So we got uh, a gastro appointment. Yeah, I'm quite intrigued to see how they do that via. Um, did yeah. you? I reckon uh, you're going to be on hand in case they need me to like poke stuff because it's like medically trained whereas I'd just be like I have no idea which bit you mean yeah so we're also uh, we're going to explain what's wrong with your guts and how it all feels and everything on this as well so we can uh, we can send him a hyperlink to this uh, this video so everyone can see yeah no that's a good idea everyone can see and then uh, of course the specialists can see because we can uh, they're doing it on Microsoft Teams which also allows you to do chat at the same time oh does it yep so we can um, oh. we can give them a hyperlink to uh, to this video give so pr 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 yeah. prelude of um... so um so yeah you've been for about the past um, six months you've yeah, been having gradually <laughs> worse <laughs> I can hear it again as I'm trying to talk to you, sorry. Yeah, so it's been about six months. Um, it started off, well, I've been throwing up on and off for about two years now, maybe two and a half years. Um, I kept on being given antiemetics, but um, it didn't really help. <laughs> so I um, I decided, um, well, I didn't decide anything. I then, uh, the problem with that is then um, within the last six months, if not longer, it's got to the point now where eating has become painful. It's become, um, it's become, it's hard to swallow. I've got a speech and language um, appointment for, well, waiting for an x-ray, um, a swallowing x-ray, but it's, I'm finding it hard to swallow. And I find like sometimes when I swallow stuff, it either gets stuck, it feels like it gets stuck in the throat um, or I can't get it past a certain bit in my throat. I find if I look up like that, then I can't get any air through very well, as you can probably hear from my tone. <laughs> Um, so I find it really, I can't like, the, the standard way of swallowing is kind of like swallow, but I can't, I can't do that at the moment because it just, it's. It... So you can't swallow. So when, and when you do, when you do eat a meal, then you choke quite a lot. It's like a. Yeah. So it's a, the first swallow is okay, but then it seems to like the, I don't know whether there's air bubbles or whether, I don't know what's going wrong, but it feels like there's some kind of air bubble that's basically in my gullet that forces the food back up. So it's usually the second time round that I choke, or the first time round and I can't swallow, and it gets like the tail ends stuck in my throat. Mm -hmm. So then um, it's difficult to get down, and you choke. Yeah, I have and it with water sometimes too if I'm tired. Yeah, it's a lot worse when you're tired, and then yeah. when it does go down into your guts, then what happens? Um, uh, well, then it uh, uh, probably about two, three minutes into it, my stomach starts to hurt. Um, whenever I eat anything or drink anything, I kind of um, my stomach starts gurgling. It always reminds me of when I was a kid and I used to go into my mum and dad's uh, room um, in, on the weekend and like you'd go give them a cuddle and you'd hear like the tea going through their stomach. Like all the kind of... Blah, 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 blah. It's like that, but it's it feels like it's in my stomach and it feels like it's very... Um, I, don't, I can't think of the right words, but it just reminds me a bit of a fish tank bubbly aerator and a fish tank kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But it makes it... Um, I get a lot of gas at the moment and it makes it incredibly painful um, and tender to touch. So I'm tender from about just below the ribs um, all the way down. It hurts to touch there. Oh, and, there's another, there's moving for this <laughs> and it also hurts to do kind of poking in there. So I've, 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 at the moment I'm on elasticated waists, waists or skirts or dresses because it's less pressure on my stomach. Um, I find it hard to... Um, I don't have an appetite anymore. I'm, I was always a bit of a foodie, but at the moment, I'm just food just does not interest me because I can't eat any of it. And even down to like things that I would consider treats and stuff that's consistently my favourite food, just not interested. Um, and I'm finding it really hard to keep hydrated too because every time I drink a, a large cup of tea, my stomach starts bubbling and all the rest of it, so it only gets worse. So by the end of the day, I'm less in climb to keep myself hydrated because I just I feel rotten and I just it feels like I've got a stomach ache all the time but like bad stomach ache all the time where it's like goes up to like the top it feels like the top of your stomach but that, that kind of area 
Yeah. Um, hot water bottles help sometimes, but uh, not always. Um, lying on my side, my sides helps a lot. Um, but I, apart from that, I, uh, I'm getting a lot of either, uh, I, I swing between two states of misery, of either diarrhea, constant diarrhea, or um, constipation. And I get the constipation one because of all my meds, I'd expect that. It's the diarrhea one that concerns me more because like, I'm on so many medications, they all have a side effect of constipation. So for me to be able to have diarrhea is quite an achievement. I mean, I don't know if there's a badge in it. Maybe I could get one. <laughs> <laughs> Fia successfully shipped through the eye of the needle for, 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 for three months. <laughs> well done, you get a badge. But sometimes I can get all bunged up because of the constipation. Um, and then I just, I find it, I, I find it really hard, um, if I'm constipated I can eat lactulose and I find it really hard to then, um, go to the loo, um, and then it becomes, uh, just, it becomes more problematic the, the longer I leave it, so at some point I'm going to end up having that moment where the, the, the crossover happens, where the lactulose starts to work and then it swings the other way, so, yeah, at the moment I'm, uh, I'm just sick of feeling sick. Like my stomach hurts all the time. I, my, my back is hurting all the time. I don't know whether it's my my stomach that is causing me problems or whether I'm overcompensating because I'm curling over. But my energy levels are shit because I can't. It's like awful. I just realised we're taking this to <laughs> taking this to a doctor. My energy levels are awful. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, um, I seem to be chronically fatigued all the time and that just means that on a good day if I keep my energy levels up I can achieve something but I mean today literally all I've done today is I was, I was awake at five o'clock because my sleeping patterns are good now um because I'm staying awake from pain so much um and then I woke up at five this morning and then I, I went back to sleep and then I've been woken up at six thirty for food which I can't eat because it hurts um and then it'll be sleep again so, yeah, so, you, so this evening we tried uh we tried yeah, burger. It's a, chorizo. Chorizo. it's a very easy, it's a very um soft burger um yeah. with um uh with some ketchup and a bit of onion and cheese. So it was. I'm trying to get it. So it's got to be. So the thing is, I've been advised to have moist food, but it can't be too moist. I think yeah. it's a trial and error thing, if I'm honest. So <laughs> you got a juicy burger, but of course, there's somebody else who's uh. Very interested in you, or was he fell asleep now? Well, no, he's primed. Look, he's primed because if I go dash. Did you hear that little squeak as well? So he's primed and ready for food. You, you think he's asleep, he's just in standby food mode. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll get some burger in a minute. See how haughty he looks at me now. Look at that. That's judgment like that. Okay. I'll accept love, but I want burger. <laughs> I'm going to get into my standby mode again. <laughs> and then uh, we also have another cat on standby mode in the window. See, as soon as I call them. <laughs> Diesel, come with them. Only really because it's food. Yeah, I know. But do you know what? I think it's horrible that they're both like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not that he likes it. And I'll, I'll have that off you. Yeah, don't worry, you'll get one too, Dash. You get a plate because you're messy. That's fake. Okay. He's like, oh, I must stand for this. Yeah, that's all you've got. Oh, you've got to get He's like, oh, I'm not sure about that, but yeah, his brother. That's no nice. problems, he's nearly all gone. Look, nice. Where'd you go, Phil? He's such a mommy's boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's all right, but if you tell me to, mommy, go on then. Well, you can't eat, but. Um, there's, the there's, can I say there's two cats that certainly can. So yeah, Dash has decided he is part of Spanish. It's fine. So anyway, yeah, if you um, if you subscribe, then uh, you'll find out what happens at the appointment because we'll, uh, we'll we'll video it. Yeah, we'll film that and uh, stick it up like we did the last one, so you can see the uh, the follow on through. Yeah, you can um, see. Them. What do you what do you think it is? Yeah, it's here. answers on a postcard because at this point I'm willing to take answers. Mm. On well, a we've we've done the good old Google searches, haven't we? And we've well, we're on all the EDS forums mm. and things. Well, I, my mum had the same problem, so I think my mum 
we're 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 kind of going with peristalsis. No, no, ga- gastro parenthesis. Yeah. yeah, I can never. So that's it's a dyslexic. So e- a lot of EDS people suffer with it. It's just yeah. a case of the severity. Yeah. Um, some of it's treatable by taking some tablets. Um, some people have to have feeding tubes. Yeah. So uh, a FOD, FODMAP diet. Yeah, mum's um, on a FODMAP diet. So, so, yeah, so I have a feeling we'll be experimenting with all that, uh, yeah, all that kind yeah. of good we'll stuff. Yeah, we'll be learning We'll be learning the way on that one. It'll be an interesting one. Um, yeah, it'll be definitely an interesting one. I'll let you know how it goes, though. Yeah, so watch this space. <laughs>